So I just put down little man for his last nap of the day and he'll probably sleep for about 30 minutes to an hour hour and a half if I'm lucky he has a lot of cat naps during the day at night is when he like will sleep through the night well not sleep through the night that's a dream but you know what I mean like he gives us a few hours during the night I have my other two children they've been home for a few days because they're sick yes I don't know what type of virus was going around but my daughter caught it and then she passed it on to her older brother and I've just been quarantining both of the kids on the opposite side of the house and every time I even go near them, like I'll put gloves on and I wear a mask because I don't want to catch it and I don't want to give it to the baby. So G and I have just been on this side of the house and the kids have been on that side of the house and I've been Cloroxing everything. I literally will clean their bathroom with Clorox like two times a day. Also, G got Ian this cute little sun hat off Amazon. How much was this hat, babe? How much was this hat? Eight dollars. G and I went to the farmer's market this weekend and it was kind of like our first time out with the baby, just me and him, and we're kind of like trying to get a feel of like how it would be if we were to go out. So we went out to the farmer's market because for one, I've been really dying to go to the farmer's market. We went out and like rookies, we were unprepared. We did not have a sun hat for him and it was super hot and we didn't have, oh, and also we didn't have a, a fan. And that made me realize like we should buy him one of those like portable fans that we can put into the um stroller because he's a super hot baby he gets hot very easily honestly like after going out you have to kind of experience some things to learn i definitely learned is that we need a sun hat for baby which is a rookie move on my part because obviously i know like i had two kids like we need sun hats but we hardly went out so i didn't get any but now we do we now have a portable fan which is so it's so key and vital especially if your baby gets overheated very easily and living here in southern california it's like so hot even though it's fall it's still like 90 degrees outside so this is our portable fan it's like small and it has these little bendy legs and you can wrap them around your stroller definitely going to be using this every time we go out with baby boy Tonight for dinner, we are going to be making a tofu vegetable stir fry. But before we get into dinner, I wanted to show you guys my new pans that I got. So these are my new pans. So I got the pans from Caraway, and they're 100% non-toxic ceramic pans. So they have like a ton of different colors on their website, but of course the color that I chose is white because it matches my aesthetic and my vibe of my home. I'm super big on eating like healthy and organic as much as possible. And then I realized that I'm investing so much money in top quality food that I'm putting into my body, but I'm not doing the same for the cookware that I'm using, that I'm putting all that expensive organic produce and food into you know what i mean like i'm cooking all this expensive food in crappy pans what's the point so i definitely wanted to invest in high quality cookware and that was non-toxic that's gonna definitely be good for my family and for myself so caraway was super sweet to give me a 10 percent discount for you guys if you want to click the link down below to check it out see what kind of colors that you might fall in love with that might match your vibe and your aesthetic of your home and also feel good about getting some non-toxic cookware so i do want to let you know the 10 percent discount is only going to be good until october 12th so if you do want to pick up a caraway set for yourself definitely make sure to to take advantage of that discount code before it expires on the 12th of October. G and 
I went to the farmer's market on the weekend. So I wanted to show you some mushrooms that we got. We got Italian oyster mushrooms. Look how massive they are. They're so good. I've had them before um, when I used to be pescatarian as kind of like a chicken meaty substitute. They're super thick, um, but not like thick where you can't eat it. It's kind of like, it like, it's like a chicken substitute, if you will. Like if you cook it a certain way, you would think that it was chicken. I also got some lion's mane. This is really good for memory. Um, but yeah, it's a superfood mushroom. So we're gonna be putting this, that was, that was scary. I was like, mm. So we're gonna be putting that in the tofu stir fry. I'm super excited to give it a try. Look, they look like little chicken strips. This is the lion's mane. He's all fed and he burped. <laughs> oh, who's that? Who is that? Who's that handsome guy? Who's that handsome boy? <laughs> putting our son to sleep so I think I want to hop in the shower because girl when you had a long day <laughs> and I've had several a long warm shower just sounds like it's gonna hit the spot anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up for me and please subscribe if you haven't done so already and I will see you in my next one baby bye guys I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations of oh.